once again everyone original blood ace back once more it is time for my final thoughts and review for day three of nintendo's e3 getting around to it a little on the later side but just been busy 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 so let's get into it uh... right off the bat i gotta say though it kinda went like this day one of nintendo's e3 was you know boom just enormous massive absolutely amazing yesterday Eh, it was, it was, it was good, but not nearly as good. Today was, eh, just mediocre at best. There was really not too much of anything worthwhile throughout the whole like seven hours or whatever. But I'm gonna go through it anyway. Uh, we went through a whole bunch of stuff that we went through the other day, so that was kind of boring. But uh, they started off again with fantasy life. Well, I get it. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I'm kind of on the fence about it right now. Uh, then they rev they actually showed off code name Steam, uh, which uh, I'm not gonna lie. Yes, it's made by Intelligent Systems, who made Fire Emblem Awakening, and I was excited for it. But I saw it, and I I I wasn't watching it. I had the audio going in the background, but I wasn't watching it. I, I mean, I watched the first five minutes or so of it, but I'm not gonna get it. I don't care for it. Sorry, Intelligent Systems. It's it just looks stupid to me. Not my cup of tea. Not gonna get it. Uh, and yes, it's a new IP for Nintendo and 3DS. Uh, <clears throat> so all those people who kept asking, oh, Nintendo needs to make new IPs. There was like six new IPs given at this E3, so you can shut the fuck up about those now. Um, anyway, Smash Bros. 3DS was next, and we've seen all this stuff before. Uh, they did a bit of fighting, that kind of thing. I think it was, they did one-on-one -on -one fights, was it? I can't even remember now. Uh, after that was Reggie coming out and talking, showing he, had th he has two 3DSs and blah, 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 blah. Talked and talked. Didn't reveal anything, didn't do anything special. Um, then they went to Smash Bros. Wii U, had a bunch of matches. Again, we've seen these before, and I'm, I don't know about everyone, but I am sick of seeing Smash Bros. content. Like, seriously, we've seen so much. Like, I've seen, over the past four days for E3, I've watched 30 hours of content in four days. That's over one full day of pure watching content in front of my computer monitor. That's fucking ridiculous. Um... So I'm, I'm burnt out on Smash Bros. I don't need to see anything else unless there's like a new Wii U mode or something revealed. Anyway, um, after that was Splatoon, because why not? I'm kind of getting sick of seeing that, but I mean, we're done, so we don't need to see it anymore for a while. But at the same time, Splatoon is, is good. It's looking great. Um, and it, they did Treehouse, Nintendo Treehouse, whoops, developers against uh, the actual developers themselves. Uh, did I say Treehouse developers? Nintendo Treehouse employees against developers themselves, uh, which was okay, whatever. Uh, then they moved on to Project Guard, which they didn't get to yesterday, so this was finally something new we hadn't seen yet today, well, other than Steam. Um, which, by the way, Steam stands for Strike Team Eliminating the Alien Menace, uh, if you didn't know. So Project Guard was one of Miyamoto's two games. Uh, they showed it off. There was nothing really new about it, uh, and it's still kind of to me, it looks like a really hard game to try and do on your own. Like, you kind of need people in the same room as you to help you out. Um, anyway, after that, they went on to uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X. I still want to just call it X. Like, I'm so used to that over the past two years. But, uh, it was basically the same content. Again, That they did the exact same thing of, you know, the same demo, walking around, fighting things. It's basically almost the same commentary and everything. Uh, so it was kind of hard to watch because it was all the same thing we've seen already. Um, I think he found different weapons that he did before, but he was not high enough level to use them. That was really the only difference. Then, uh, Yoshi's Woolly World was shown off. Eh, whatever. Uh, then there was Bayonetta 2 again. Eh, whatever. I mean, we've seen this stuff. <laughs> then fucking Hyrule Warriors, which I just, I had the audio going, but I wasn't watching because I just don't fucking care. I don't see the hype behind it. I don't see how anyone can like it. Um... Then we went back to Steam, hooray, so I didn't watch that, I just had the audio going in the background. Um, then they went back to Smash Bros. Wii U, did some more matches, Oh, Then they finally were wrapping it up, they finally got to another thing, which was Devil's Third, which I had originally seen, it was an IGN exclusive first uh, on day one of E3, and I'd seen the trailers already, so it wasn't new for me, but for a lot of people it was. Um, I've seen it, I don't know how I feel about it, to be honest, I'm about... 75% like, I'm not going to get it, it's just not for me, and 25%, eh, you know, we'll see what it looks like in by the time it comes out, in a year or whatever. 
Uh, and then they wrapped up the show with Wii Sports Club. I wasn't expecting that. Um, so, I didn't actually watch it because I went out for supper, but, um, I mean, it was Wii Sports Club, so it was probably just, uh, you know, bowling, or not bowling, but is it baseball and, uh, boxing, I think, are the ones that aren't out yet. Uh, and then that was how they ended it. So, Nintendo's E3, E3 in general, has now come to a close. Uh, as far as my final thoughts, obviously Nintendo won. Uh, they were just, you know, explosive off the bat, and then it was like a, literally an explosion. It was the best way to describe it. Nintendo, on day one, they exploded, and then over the next two days, you know, the explosion got smaller and smaller. Uh, and then it faded away, of course. So it was it was really good, 9 out of 10 for Nintendo. I gotta give them a few little issues I had with, like, uh, you know, Zelda being next year, Miis and Pac-Man and Smash Bros., X being delayed till next year. Those were my main issues. Um... What else? But I mean, like, Star Fox and Splat uh, Splatoon and Captain Toad's Treasure Tracker all made up for it. So it was really good, and Nintendo did not, if you think about it, they didn't show off a single casual title or shovelware title. Every single game they showed off was a core title for the Nintendo fan base, Excluding the new IPs, because we don't really... I mean, they're core games. I think they're going to be core, but right now they don't have a label. They're not casual or core. But they didn't show off any freaking useless junk... It was like, you know, we fit, or we party, or uh, we dance, or all those things. Uh, so that was really nice, it seems. And, in, and with Reggie swearing and everything, I mean, it was it's one swear he said, and Ubisoft was swearing all fucking night. But it really seemed, at least for E3, Nintendo decided to say, you know what, the casuals and the kids, they don't want anything to do with consoles right now. Let's focus with the core, which is what they should have been doing for the fucking beginning, or ever since the Wii U launched. I really hope they can maintain this and they stay with this mindset. I hope it wasn't just for E3 to build up hype and then, you know, they go back to being all, uh, you know, screwy. Because we don't need that. We don't need that. Um, the other issues I did have with Nintendo's E3 was, I mean, it kind of makes, makes a lot of us sound like a hypocrite when we say something like this because they always used to focus way too much on the 3DS and we would say, where was all the Wii U content? This time it was 99% Wii U and like two 3DS games. <laughs> well, actually, I think it was like three or four, but there was some 3DS games they didn't show, and they didn't show Sonic, Sonic Boom on the Treehouse, which is kind of surprising. Um, what else? People were freaking out. No, Metroid on the Wii U. If you were expecting Metroid on the Wii U this E3, you're a fucking idiot. Um, not for another two E3s, I'm saying. But... Uh, I was expecting a Metroid on the 3DS, like, I wouldn't have been surprised, but we didn't get that, so whatever. was expecting Majora's Mask 3D, especially, like, with all the teasers, like, with the... In Hyrule Warriors, they showed pulling the fucking moon from Majora's Mask down and squishing the dragon. Uh, what was his name? Argog or something? And then, uh, Zelda Williams said, oh, I'm gonna be at... Or she's gonna be at E3 to, uh, do something special or whatever, and she was in the Smash Bros. tournament, and she came out holding a Majora's Mask mask or whatever. So it was like all these teasers, but again, they didn't reveal Majora's Mask 3D, so it's like, what the hell? Uh, again, I don't want Majora's Mask, but I was just really expecting to see it. Uh, there was no trailer or treehouse of Pokemon Alpha, Sapphire, or Omega Ruby, which... But then again, on Sunday, uh, one of the Japanese Pokemon TV shows or whatever is covering it, and there'll be content and stuff, so that's not a big de uh, big eel bleh, issue or deal. Um... And then really the only major game we didn't see that we should have was Fire Emblem Cross Shimigami Tensai. Because like Yarn Yoshi, or fuck, now I'm calling it that, Yoshi's Woolly World, we didn't see it. I mean, Yoshi's Woolly World went over a year before we saw anything on it, and people were like, oh, is it cancelled? But no, it wasn't. And so now it's like, where's Shimigami Tensai Cross Fire Emblem, or other way around? So, I don't think it's cancelled. I'm pretty sure it's not, because it's made by Atlas, and Atlas is still, you know alive and kicking and whatnot. So, I think that's going to about cover it for day three and my final wrap-up thoughts. It goes Nintendo, Sony, Microsoft, EA, or Ubisoft, EA in my opinion. Uh, so we'll see how it goes in the future, and as for Star Fox, uh, I'm betting we're going to get our first actual trailer at a Nintendo Direct sometime later this year. Uh, when? I don't know. September, October, maybe. Um... What else? What else? People who are freaking out saying, that's not Link in the Zelda, uh, 
in the Zelda trailer. Anuma already confirmed earlier today that it was Link. He's like, yeah, I was joking when I said that. I didn't think people would actually freak out and think that that wasn't Link. And he went on to say, like, I didn't want to focus on Link himself and actually say, yep, there's Link, you know, shooting his bow because Link is the hero. He's you. Uh, we don't need to focus so much directly on him. So people are just making shit up just to stir the pot. Like I said from the beginning, it was fucking Link. Just, it's that simple. He's not Sakurai who likes to, you know, play the troll card, even though he kind of did troll, even though it was unintentional. Um, I feel like I'm missing one little tidbit of news I wanted to say, or one little bit, but I don't know. Um, so I still got to do two more videos, I think. One is that secret video, which I, no one's actually guessed yet, but... And it's going to be cutting it close, too, uh, by the time it gets uploaded. <laughs> uh, you'll understand by the time I get it uploaded. Hopefully it's not too short of notice, but we'll see what happens. Um, and then I want to do a video showcasing my, like, a list of all the games that I'm going to be getting uh, for the rest of this year and next year. Um, and stuff like I'll be playing on my channel and whatnot, so you guys will know what to look forward to. Uh, so yeah, I think that's about going to do it. That was day three of Nintendo's E3. That was E3. Uh, I do gotta upload all the... Like, I'm not gonna upload every fucking trailer from Nintendo's E3 because that would just take fucking forever. Uh, I will be uploading the Zelda trailer. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, the Captain Toad one. The Splatoon one. And, and well, Bayonetta 2. Basically, all the games that I personally am interested in, I'll probably upload... Uh, if I have spare time, maybe I'll do a few others later on, but we'll see. So I'm Original Bloodies. As always, stay tuned. More videos coming soon, as always.